Okay, here are some things to consider before posting comments on videos. When you're invited to dinner, go and sit at the last place. So see, you can kind of picture like a video, like a party in the comment section, the seats. So you should take the low position in most places. But when your host comes, then when the host comes, he may very well say, friend, come up the front. So see, the host then would be the channel owner, and you should just wait until they say, come up front, which would be like, yeah, please help correct me in any errors I have. Until then, you need to sit the low place. That will give the dinner guests something to talk about. What I'm saying is if you walk around with your nose in the air, you're going to end up flat on your face. But if you're content to simply be to be simply yourself, you will become more than yourself. Which also should be for all of those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. So basically if you want to try to help build that trust and then they will exalt you and be willing to take comments from you and just get a good cycle going in Romans 12 17 19 do not hit back discover beauty in everyone so when you're looking for that flaw the speck are you really discovering the beauty in people be careful to do what is right in the eyes of everyone Provide things honest in sight of all men. So, are you looking for that beauty or are you looking for that speck? If you got it in you, get along with everybody. If it is possible, as far as it depends on you, live at peace with everyone. So, are you getting along with everybody? Are you living in peace or are you trying to cause discord? <clears throat> Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Do not take revenge, my dear friends, but leave room for God's wrath. For it is written in his mind to avenge. I will repay, says the Lord. So, are you judging? Are you trying to get even with somebody? It's like, that's not good. You just need to take the surrender that to God. And then, are your answers soft? that will turn away wrath but grievous words stir up anger so see when you start off with something just a little too harsh it creates anger which will then put, get the person to want to create anger in you and it's never any vicious cycle that's why you gotta learn to be soft and gentle faithful are the wounds of a friend but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an enemy multiplies with kisses. The wounds of a lover are worth it. Kisses from an enemy do you in. So see, that's the next thing, is just kind of remember, have you built that friendship up? Then you can start the criticism. But if someone's just trying to be a little too friendly with kisses, that's called love bombing, and that's what cults like to do. John fifteen eleven through 5. I've told you these things for a purpose, that my joy might be your joy, and your joy wholly mature. This is my command, love one another the way I loved you. This is the very best way to love. Put your life on the line for your friends. You are my friends when you do the things I command you. I no longer call on you servants, because servants don't understand what their master is thinking and planning. No, I named you friends because I let you in on everything I've heard from the Father. So yeah, are we kind of laying our life down for each other? Or are we kind of trying to get our own way? Greater love has no one than this to lay his life down for one's friends. Greater love has no man than this that a man that lays life down for his friends so it's kind of like Bible translations might be 
Are you trying to follow that philosophy? Are you allowing your joy to be complete? I mean, if the joy is, you know, one person prefers one translation, the other person prefers another, when you go to their channel, you should kind of just respect the underlying message, not fight about the exact verbiage, because it's always the meaning, the meaning behind these words, not the words themselves, that's the important thing.